Hello and welcome back to this series on prompt engineering. My name is Fred Lapola, a librarian here at the NYU Langone Health Sciences Library. We're going to continue our discussion of prompt engineering. In the previous video, we discussed a few different techniques we might use to optimize our prompts, such as assigning a role to the AI, giving clear instructions about what sorts of output we expect, and providing an out for missing or information that cannot be provided by the AI. Jumping in where we left off, one thing that can be really helpful is to think about considering parameters and affordances. By affordances and parameters, we basically just mean features such as context. So parameters might mean providing information on the source of the information that is going to be analyzed. For example, according to the text provided or according to some other source that we're uploading to the AI. Affordances can be providing additional context such as describe pros and cons within our project. Another common technique, perhaps slightly more advanced in prompt engineering is the concept of few shot learning. So when we think of zero shot, basically what we're saying is we're providing a prompt and expecting a result. With few shot learning, we're providing a few examples with the expected output, and this can provide additional context for our uh, AI to provide us with successful results. In the next video, we'll look at a concrete example of what this might look like within the AI studio. It can also be very helpful to provide explicit markers whenever we're going to upload text. So we mentioned a moment ago, providing those parameters, for example, saying according to this text, can be very helpful for the AI to have some marker of the text to follow. So common techniques are to provide three quotation marks, and these are double quotation marks, or alternately, three hashtags. So for example, we might say in the following text, what are common themes, and then paste our text after a series of quotation marks. <clears throat> it can also be beneficial to ask the AI to explain its steps and reasoning. That way, as we see the results, we can understand, yes, this does make sense, or no, this is likely an error within the system, and it can help us to critically evaluate the results of the AI system. So this can also be helpful when asking for results in a table, as we mentioned previously, so that way we can see how the reasoning relates to the output that's provided. It can also be beneficial to repeat instructions as much as possible within the system, as well as breaking steps down. So rather than having it do many things all at once, providing simplified steps for the AI to complete before moving on to a next step. It can also be good to think about what is the temperature. So within the AI studio, we can adjust the temperature for the prompts and the results. So for some types of responses, for example, if we wanted an assistant to provide stock responses to patient needs, we might want a slightly more creative response as opposed to kind of general stock sounding language. And so setting a slightly higher temperature may benefit those prompts. As always, it can be beneficial to make note of what works when using LLMs for any project. Really record in a notes document the date you were working, the prompt you used, and the goal you had so you can reuse and report on what prompts were effective as well as share them with others on your team. Thank you for your viewing. As always, please feel free to reach out to generative.ai at nyulangone.org. In the next video, we'll discuss how to put some of these techniques into practice.